welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and this is Wolfgang. So in this video, the mystery of duality and density lots, I'm thrilled to share another profound excerpt on one of my extraordinary Skype sessions. It's essential to clarify that before diving into this unique work, my client and I meticulously prepare ourselves. You know, we engage in protective rituals and elevate our vibrations you know, to the point where we can communicate with my client's crystals aspect. That's this androgynous high self aspect, you know, which ensures that we are not operating on our ordinary vacant day consciousness. I also want to express my deep gratitude to my client for allowing me to share this enlightening information with the public. Like many of my clients, he has recently awakened to his inherent gifts and feels a profound calling to share his message with the world. My role in this journey is to assist in clearing any obstacles that may hinder my client's awakening. To be more precise, it's not me who performs the clearing. Instead, we invoke Source and other divine beings of love and light to accomplish what is beyond human capability. And as always, I encourage you not to relinquish your power but to discern if the following insights resonate with your own spiritual journey. And if you are interested in a personal Skype session with me to explore your unique path further, please don't hesitate to send me an email. I also want to express my appreciation for your support by liking this video and leaving your thoughts in the comments section. Your engagement helps us continue to share valuable insights and spiritual growth with a broader audience. Enjoy. So now this is, you know, philosophical and this might even go on to the internet. So, you know, what we're doing here, you know, working with light, working with darkness, we work in duality. Yeah. And um, so we probably could work in duality, you know, forever <laughs> or for a long, long time, yeah. you know, because that's like an accepted construct, you know, it's here to fulfill a portion. And, you know, yeah. if you abolish duality, you know, that school, you know, Earth, how it's called, you know, mm -hmm. will not exist. You know, that's part of the curriculum, duality. So, on the other hand, you know, we definitely love unity consciousness or higher consciousness that is above that. Yep. So, so what's the whole idea, you know, I mean, are we dwelling too much in duality and, you know, in the eternal hamster wheel of duality? And, you know, we should be maybe focusing more on the unity consciousness, on the love and light, and then the whole duality will fall away. You know, so how, what is the best attitude, you know, the oneness consciousness and the duality consciousness? Yeah, so the best way to look at it is that, so duality, dark and light. So even though darkness may be a frequency you don't want to interact with, it is still part of creation. So um, it's best to look not to be afraid of it or shun it, but one really understands it's a um why it it exists when one goes to the stage when they re when they uh realize that they've participated on both sides so then kind of the oneness comes together understanding that the darkness is a necessary learning tool but also that you know dark beings exist throughout the dimensions but that it's just that your uh attitude towards the darkness shifts understanding that even dark beings are you just a, no, a lower aspect of you which then can only mean that love you know love and compassion exists not mm -hmm. hate of the darkness you know because that is darkness itself mm -hmm. so then so what's the advice you know you know for the serious practitioner you know so should we be focusing 
you know, to transmute as much darkness, you know, that we encounter in our own past lifetime, in this lifetime, the darkness of our ancestors, the darkness of our loved ones. You should be, be focusing in on that, transmuting it with love. Yes, yeah, because um, essentially all beings at their root are love, only that, for example, humanity, for the vast majority of humanity, have forgotten that. Um, but yes, transmuting the darkness into light is the best practice, because that is how one uh, accesses the higher dimensions. Mm. So um, let's say, you know, if we consider ourselves or, you know, our consciousness like a hot air balloon, you know, the sins or the darkness would be those ballast bags, right? And as we cut those, you know, our consciousness will raise, let's say, into more higher vibrational experiences. You know, it's right still in the body. You know, I have to say, we're not yes. trying to get out or in the way from the body. We're just trying to purify it you know, so to vibrate in a more higher capacity, yes. so to say. He, he's saying that that um, if you look at the like a soul's journey throughout, you know, outside of time, looking at all the incarnations, both lighter and darker, that when one is transmuting darkness within themselves from other lifetimes or it's like um, learning all of the soul's lessons in one body. That's exactly what the, my, was my question. Mm -hmm. So there is a finite number of past lifetimes or in principle past lifetimes, right? And so the, the more you learn those lessons, you know, the higher you go in your awareness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I noticed, you know, in, in my work, you know, first it was like, he loves me, he loves me not, and past life karma from humans, and then other beings like fae, and fairies, <laughs> giants, you know, uh, um, and you know, Anunnaki, <laughs> and <laughs> dragons, etc. You know, where the human karma is not that much anymore, it's like from other. Yes. You know? and, and so your awareness of, you know, reality expands. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. All right, well, um, are there any, um, there probably are some clippings on, you know, man, uh, let's say manipulations to keep, you know, our horizon from expanding. You know? mm -hmm. Really, you can call them blindfolds. It's just like the things that prevent us from expressing ourselves. Yeah. They're probably covering over us. That prevents us from seeing, you know, the higher reality or the more expanded mm -hmm. reality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not that we stop seeing cars or people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we just see more like auras and intention behind people. Yeah. 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 So on a personal level, each soul has to, you know, um, investigate and uh, integrate and transmute darkness within themselves to be able to access higher frequencies. But then the human body itself um, kind of needs to be upgraded on a DNA level to embody them frequencies physically. So one can be, you know, you know, maybe on a non-physical level, you know, seeing or have a, like a sixth or seventh dimensional type archetypal consciousness, but the the physical body isn't ready to embody that sixth or seventh dimension. So. Um, there are certain techniques like uh, or uh, locks, I call them density locks within the actual energy body, which would need to be released and using the 12th dimensional light to bring it to upgrade the DNA. Yeah, this was exactly, you know, was my yeah. question. You know, those programs that, you know, lock us into these exactly. dimensions. Mm -hmm. And so let's say in the case of and Wolfgang, you know, are we still affected strongly by density locks? Yes or no? Yes, most of humanity would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's say um, if you know our capacity, our spiritual capacity, you know, of enlightenment would be a hundred percent. You know, so due to density locks, you know, how much do we have available for right now? So about forty percent. Is at 40 percent mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and Wolfgang? The same. Mm -hmm. Same. All right. So 60 percent is taken away from density locks. 
Oh, so um, let's pay dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so um, let's ask that be given, you know, a visual representation of how those density locks look like. You know, is this like a box around the pineal gland, you know, or a plate or the reverse crown, or, you know, and what's the best way to visualize those? Yeah, so it kind of looks like a dark sun. And uh, in the physical body, it's kind of in where the sacral would be. So it kind of um, uh, perpetuates kind of, you know, dark darkness, so to speak, and stops higher frequencies from reaching the higher chakras, you know, because like each chakra kind of represents a dimension. Mm -hmm. So density lock, um, would it be like a, basically a dark portal? Yeah, it kind of acts as a dark portal, so it kind of, yeah, it kind of pulls in darkness into its orbit. And okay. then, mm -hmm. yeah. So is this the same as a dark portal or is there a difference to the dark portal? It's, there's a difference because it has to be uh, undone in a certain way because it kind of comes from, you know, humanity's uh, experience of hybridization with the likes of the Anunnaki or, or other beings that have, you know, digressed DNA. Because just to explain that, you know, the human template is meant to eventually embody 12 activated strands, mm -hmm. whereas the Anunnaki have 11. So it's kind of caused a, a mismatch. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So uh, they are basically through the DNA, you know, um, tinkering, uh, they are um, dark portals pretty much built into our system. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, <laughs> you know, make sure the car doesn't last longer than 10 years, right? Yeah, so exactly. Very similar, yeah. you know, absolute, ab absoluteness is built in. <clears throat> He's just saying that uh, a, uh, a light worker called Ashiana Dean does, yeah, this, this work of uh, upgrading the DNA, so it's kind of, very important to do the cause is one of the quickest ways to do it. Yeah, very mental though, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you like to have um, those dark portals, you know, that um, those dark suns mm -hmm, um, cleared from us and our ancestors as much as we can now, um, 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 mm -hmm, and our loved ones, you know, forever we can speak about or for. Mm -hmm. And then let's see how many aspects are there from that are still stuck due to dark sun implants or density locks. Um, it's almost like all incarnations from this seeding of humanity. So this is like the third seeding. Oh boy! Mm -hmm. So it's just all through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you invoke this, um, this is going to have some, you know, very profound changes. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe maybe it's just a drop in the bucket, you know, who knows. So, yeah, but we like to have the most profound changes, you know, having these mm -hmm. um, uh, density locks cleared from us and humanity as much as we can. We probably were involved in programming humanity, yes. You know, mm -hmm. So from those points of view, let's request this um, I mean, with those yeah, authorities. Amen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 